beginning with a pore minimizing primer to prep my skin for product. As well as an eyeshadow base to prevent any product from creasing on my upper lid and as well as underneath my eyes. For this makeup, I'm mainly going to be using MAC acrylic paint. This one is in white, making sure that I shake the bottle up. It's just a really highly pigmented white paint, and I love applying this on my face because it's so pigmented and really easy. So I'm using that with a foundation brush that I have sacrificed for this paint, and I'm applying that onto my face. I didn't think that it was necessary to do a brow block for this look, but if you want to, feel free. But for me, didn't think it was necessary. Just applying a lot of paint there and then creating the shape that I want with the brush just along my jawline. Pretty round shape, um, just drawing it in and then filling it in with the paint. You can really see how highly pigmented this paint is and very easy to apply onto the skin. You could also use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, that would be a great alternative. Making sure to really fill any lines and cracks around my face and especially on my lips and on top of my eyelids I'm doing an extra layer just to really thicken it up and get it completely even and then I'm going to dry the paint on my face with a blow dryer. Before I apply powder I'm applying the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just tapping that on my face with a powder puff. The paint does dry but I like adding some powder just for some extra security. Before locking myself into any design, I'm using this Rimmel Scandalize eye pencil. Um, it's for in your waterline. It's just a neutral pencil and I'm drawing out the shape of my eyebrows that I want because going in with the black would be a lot harder to clean up than going in with this first. So I drew the shape that I wanted and then I went in with a NYX liquid eyeliner. This eyeliner is my favorite eyeliner. I find that with the brush I have a lot of control and I'm able to do a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to with any other eyeliner to be completely honest. And the great thing about working with this acrylic paint is it's really easy to clean up and especially for the area around my brows where I didn't want to do a brow block, super easy to clean up. Anywhere that I went out of bounds, I simply went in with a little bit more of that white paint to clean up any lines. I designed this makeup as I was going along and underneath one of my eyes I drew a little triangle underneath and then I began to fill that in with the same eyeliner. You could be working with a gel eyeliner, that would also work, making sure I'm bringing it right up to the lash line. And for my other eye, I mapped out a little diamond shape and then connected the dots with little lines. I had the vision of this look being very asymmetrical, so that's kind of the theme that I was going for. And, you know, dots and triangles and lines and, you know, all that. Again, cleaning up is super easy. On the other eye, I wanted to bring it down a wee bit more, so I went back and tidied up where I wanted to elongate it a little bit. To add a couple details, I'm using the black MAC acrylic paint. It's the exact same as the white. And what I'm doing is taking an end of a little brush, dipping it in there, and carefully dotting that onto my face. Carefully dotting it on. Going back with that liquid eyeliner and drawing some lines and some dots. And above one eyebrow, I want to jazz it up up top there. So I'm drawing one giant line, placing a dot with a little bit less pressure on top of there and as well as underneath the other dot. Going in with a eyeliner into my waterline and also lining my lash line, both my lash lines, in order to put false lashes on. These ones are from Makeup Forever and I've had these lashes forever. Um, they add a little bit of something to the look. It looks very whimsical once these are on and I'm making sure that I push them up while they dry or else they might fall. <music> 
Also applying some NYX lashes to my bottom lash line in preparation for applying a little mascara just to get rid of any white paint that may have fallen onto my lashes. And for my lips, same with the eyebrows. I'm going in with that Rimmel pencil in order to map out my design. And then with the NYX Epic Black Mousse Eyeliner, I'm using that as my lipstick, I suppose. I know that this will stay on all day and I can eat, drink, talk, lick my lips. It will not budge, so that was perfect for my lips. I added a couple more lines and some dots above my one eyebrow just to jazz it up a wee bit more. Uh, it was very asymmetrical and I kind of just threw any line wherever I thought that it was necessary. And then above my other eyebrow, I just put three little wee dots. Once I was finished painting, I wanted to cancel out my blue eyes, so I'm applying some black circle lenses from Pinky Paradise. I'm getting pretty good at putting contacts in now. You see how that just makes the look look a little bit more animated and like a character. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy.